Daily Devotionals for September 25th. Today's scripture reading will be 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. And I'm going to read out of the Amplified today. Do not be so deceived and misled. Evil companionships has parentheses, communion and associations, corrupt and deprave good manners and morals and character. You know, it is so important who we align ourselves with, okay? Uh, our friends, our associations, our family, you know, they can oftentimes get you going the wrong direction, okay? And sometimes it's intentional. I think sometimes people do things spitefully just to just to get you going the wrong way, irritate you, what have you, and get you going the wrong direction. And yet other times, you know, they're just speaking what they believe and they're not hearing by the Holy Spirit, so they're just giving you some, you know, car carnal advice. But I just wanted to mention a couple people in the Bible that I thought of. I mean, the first one, of course, was Eve. She was really deceived by the serpent, you know. She did, she followed his instruction instead of doing what was right. She, she knew better, but she did it anyway. Um, another one, okay, in, um, let's see, Matthew 16, Jesus is having conversation with his disciples about who do you say that I am? And of course, Peter says that he has a revelation, you are the Christ. And everything is good at that point. <laughs> and then he starts, you know, Jesus is saying he's going to be leaving. And, you know, Peter's like, you know, you can't do this. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. Now, of course, Jesus didn't mean he was Satan, that Peter was Satan, but he was saying, you know, you don't know, you are not discerning properly, you know, and you need to get on the right track. So he's saying, you know, stay away from me. He was disassociating him, so to speak, at that point, okay, until Peter came to an understanding. Um, another one is Hezekiah, and this is in um, Isaiah 38, and in... 38, Hezekiah, uh, you know, Isaiah goes to Hezekiah and saying, you know, you're going to die and not live. And Hezekiah repents and God hears him. He goes back and, and Isaiah said, okay, you know, God's going to extend 15 years to your life. Now, all of that is good. But now um, Isaiah, he ends up in chapter 39 he ends up uh, telling the enemy, okay, the king of Babylon, he starts telling him, showing him all the wealth of his kingdom, okay? And he says, you know, here it is. Well, Isaiah comes back and says, you know, you aligned yourself with the wrong person and it's going to cost you everything because your family, your ancestors, uh, or excuse me, your descendants, they're going to go into captivity. But now listen to what Hezekiah said. And he was a righteous king, but was he deceived? Uh, chapter 39, verse 8. Hezekiah said to Isaiah, The word of the Lord which you have spoken is good. For, you have, for he has said, At least there will be peace and truth in my days. You see, he was looking out for himself. Okay, so... God's going to take care of me another 15 years. All is well. Nothing bad's going to happen while I'm alive. But did he really, was he really concerned? He got into such a place of deception by following the wrong voices. Okay, so anyhow, that's just three people that I, you know, that came to mind that I wanted to share with. You know, be careful who you align yourself what, up with because evil company can get you distracted and get you, even though you're righteous, you can be going the wrong direction. You know, we need to be leading others in the right direction. Okay? Okay, great. Till next time, be blessed.